Hello, and welcome to Mule Byte series presented by MuleSoft Center of Excellence team at Royal Cyber. In this video, I'm going to show you the integration of Solus Pops Up Plus with Mule 4. The agenda for today is how to configure Solus Pops Up Plus service, how to connect with multiple protocols, how to publish streams to Solus Pops Up Plus using Mule 4, how to consume streams from Solus Pops Up Plus in Mule 4, and in the end, we'll take a look at a demo on how it works. So first, this is the screen for Solus Pops Up Plus where you can create a new service. Once the service is created, just click on that service. Next, you can see different tabs like Status, Connect, Ma Manage, Configuration, and Try Me. In the Status tab, you can see messaging activity like protocols and active con connections, guaranteed messaging endpoints, and queue usage, as well as many more things. In the Connect tab, you can see information to connect with different protocols like Solus Messaging, Solus Web Messaging, AMQP, MQTT, and REST. Let's click on REST and see connection details to connection with Solus Pops Up Plus with other systems. Then we also have a Manage tab where we can see messaging service settings, Pops Up Plus manager quick settings like message VPN, clients, queues, access control, and bridges. Then we have got the configuration tab where we can see the configuration of the service. And in the end, we have a very interesting feature which is Try Me. Here you can try Pops Up messages. Now this is the Mule flow where we have the HTTP listener, which receives streaming data. And as we see in REST connection details in Solus Pops Up Plus, the request connector sends streaming data using the connection details. Now this is the global configuration and the other general configuration for request connector. For general configuration, we have a method as post and path of test topic, which is topic name. For global configuration, we will be defining REST connection information from Pups Up Plus, like host, port, username, and password. Then we have the flow for consuming streams in Mule 4. For this flow, we must have a JMS listener, which would consume streams from Solus Pups Up Plus. This is the global configuration for JMS where we need to configure different properties like connection factory with JNDI name, JNDI initial contacts factory, JNDI provider URL, which we can find in protocol setting in Solus Pops Up Plus. And last is java.naming.security.principal. Then we have the general configuration where destination is test topic and consumer type is topic consumer. Now let's take a look at the demo and see how it works. So first, we have the Solus Pops Up Plus service, which was already shown in the previous slides. Now let's take a look at different tabs. Here in the Connect tab, we have connection details for different protocols. Then we have the Manage. We've got Configuration. And the last tab is the Try Me tab. In the Try Me tab, let's suppose we have a topic name as test topic, and we can connect the publisher from here. Then let's connect subscriber, write topic name as test topic and click subscribe. Now the topic has been subscribed. So let's move on to the rest client. Now, if I click the send button, so the message written in the body will be sent to Solus Pops Up Plus through MuleSoft, where we have an API deployed with Path and Publish. Now click the Send button. So once the message is sent, we can go back to Solus Pops Up Plus, where we've subscribed to the topic, and see the message has been received. The message has also been consumed 
in MuleSoft using the JMS connector, which we can see in the console. And that's how this entire flow works. So this brings us to the end of the demo session. Thank you for watching this episode of Mule Bytes with us. Please hit the bell icon to subscribe to the channel and get more exciting videos. You can also leave a comment with, you know, with topics that you'd like to see in the future episodes. Until then, stay tuned and have a safe time.